Hi, welcome to Ringside with Kayla. Today I'm here with Charlie Sheehy. Thank you so much for taking out the time for, to talk to me today. Sure, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, to start off, I know you're from the Bay Area. Were you born and raised here? Yes, I uh, grew up my whole life in right here in Brisbane, California. And um, I was just speaking to your coach, Coach Miguel. Um, he was the one, was he the one that introduced you to boxing? Yeah, so he was originally my baseball coach when we were like nine years old. And he took a, me, his son that's my age, and a bunch of our other teammates to the gym and had us all spar against each other. And I just thought it was the funnest thing and stuck with it. And uh, what motivated you to pursue it as a career? Um, really, when, once I started competing and I uh, won my first belt, then I, I, uh, I started like watching boxing because I, I didn't really know about it until I started doing it. And I saw people winning world championships, and after that, I knew I wanted to pursue it. And um, since you were from the Bay Area, did you grow up watching Andre Ward or any other Bay Area fighters? Yeah, I grew up uh, watching Andre Ward and uh, Nanito Donaire. Okay, and then um, also I know you were a seven-time national champion and you were qualified in the U.S. Olympic trials. How was that process in transitioning from that into the professional world? Um, the process has been fun, honestly. Um, but it was a great experience uh, being on that team with all the Olympians like uh, Tiger Johnson, Bruce Cannington, Richard Torres. You know, training with those guys every day um, made me 10 times the fighter that I was. And then transitioning into the pros, I feel like uh, it, it hasn't been uh, too hard. I feel like I've always had a style that suited uh, better for more rounds. And, lighter gloves and all that so really it's just uh, more about breaking people down instead of uh, scoring a, a lot of points but other than that it's been it's been fun and um, I know you've done some training camps with Xander Zayas as well um, how was that um, training with him out of Florida uh, it's great training out in Florida uh, I love the whole sweat box uh, team it's it's a it's a great experience having other professional fighters uh, right side of you training every day seeing uh seeing how hard they work and the, knowing the level they're at and where i'm trying to be so having them training alongside me is very motivating that's awesome and um before you enter your fights um how do you mentally prepare yourself for those um i mean just uh it's a lot of mental stuff that goes into it but i just visualize the fight um you know, I study my opponent every day in the gym. I, I'm thinking of what I'm going to do in the fight, practicing what the moves I want to do, and uh, just preparing myself fully. That way I'm 100% confident going into the game of fight night. And um, knowing that you've been with Coach Miguel for so long, uh, how's that experience been with him, you know, being able to work with the same coach for so long? It's great, to be honest. Um, just knowing that I have someone in my corner that really probably knows me better than I know myself so um, you know like I said going into that fight knowing that I got him with me just my confidence is through the roof and lastly um, do you know when your next fight might be um, I'm hoping uh, it'll be in the summer for sure probably I'm thinking around July but I'm not exactly sure yet. that's okay well thank you so much for the interview I really really appreciate it